Hey what is up guys this is Rayson and this is my full review of the Honor 8C so stay tuned. So let's start from the display. The Honor 8C rocks a 6.26 inches IPS LCD panel and it is not an AMOLED panel. It got a pixel density of 268 ppi and it is a 720p panel which means you're not going to enjoy 1080p content on it. The design wise the phone looks sleek and good but it is a plastic build so you should keep that in mind as this is not a very strong build as well. There is a headphone jack though which I really like about this phone. And let's jump straight to the camera. On the back you get to see a 13 plus 2 megapixel of depth sensor for those bokeh and wide departure shots from Honor 8C and on the front side you get to see an 8 megapixel sensor with f2.0. There is 1080p video recording on the back and front side of the phone and there is no 4K recording sadly. There is tons of customizations and tons of modes in the camera app so you can be getting the best of your phone with this camera app because Honor doesn't want you to get behind. There is also a new mode where you can save your videos in H.265 which is a new codec for saving videos and it also saves your memory as well. I shall be linking down in description where you can find the sample shots of this phone because YouTube doesn't want you to see full resolution pictures I shall be linking that down below so if you want to see and you are interested in it go check out that. The Honor 8C rocks a Snapdragon 632 with 4 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage. I'm not sure if it has the GPU turbo technology but the Geekbench score tells us that this processor is capable enough to play uh, some mid-range games and some entry level games as well. I tried out PUBG Mobile and it worked out well. Although the frame rate is limited to high, you can make it 60 frames per second by going to install uh, the GFX tool and make it extreme so you can play it better. Games like S49 also worked out really well. Here is a little sample of playing PUBG. Now it's time to talk about the battery life. It rocks a 4000 mAh of battery which is enough for you to last a day and a half. I tried out playing PUBG Mobile for 4 hours and 30 minutes consecutively and it worked out really well. Like I'm even more surprised that flagships don't perform at this level. The battery life is seriously good and it works out really really well. The screen on time on this phone is like 7 hours plus which is insanely good for a mid range phone. So out of the box the phone comes with Android Oreo 8.1 pre installed and Emotion 8.2. I'm really surprised that it isn't coming with Android Pie and let's hope that owner gives it an update for updating it to the Android Pie but it is at least running the latest Emotion UI. It has tons of features and customizability and you can do everything you want to do and this is one of the best custom ROMs for customization although it is a heavy skin but it still allows you to do a lot of different things which other phones lack. You can make twin apps for social media accounts and you can change your display, color temperature, you can hide your notch or even change your gestures and use what you want to do with navigation features. It has tons of features and I really like this skin as I've used it a lot. So that was it for the review, hope you guys liked it, smash the like button and subscribe to Arizona Sun for more tech videos like this. Peace out.